Mold Space Work From Home Desk Setup. Hello and welcome to this video. I've got something a little bit different here for the main living room or dining room area depending on your house setup. Not everybody has a dedicated office space. So here I'm going to show you a coffee table that actually doubles as a great robust laptop workstation unit while from the comfort of your own sofa. So this is gonna be a great little overview. I'm planning to show you the actual item I've bought. You can see I bought it back in August, 2021. I've had it for a good, nearly a year now, coming up to uh, 10 months, and it's done very well for me. I'm gonna show you how good it is. I'm gonna give you little tips and tricks as well as a uh, overall video. You will find a link in the description to this table that I've bought so you can actually pick it up yourself if you're limited with space and you want to make a good use of a coffee table which you can use for your laptop or even working if you do any type of drawing or anything really and you've got a section there to actually tidy everything away as well so you can put it underneath and fold everything away under there so it's hidden the wires laptop chargers all that you can see here I'm actually using it um, in the main area here that it would be intended for. You can see it's nice and contemporary, it's sleek design, sharp corners and the hinges do a nice job. It doesn't need too much effort to lift it and drop it. I've got my old ThinkPad IBM laptop here just to show you it. I still use a really old laptop for my essential uh, updates and day-to-day -day activities. It's a workstation that I use separately for editing which is different but I find myself using this a lot. And I'm going to show you what you get, how it comes, the size of it. You can see the box here. If you do buy it online, Amazon or eBay or wherever, uh, you can actually get this come through. As always, this has been uh, brought to you by trusted creators. So I've bought this table myself with my own money, using it regularly to give you like an honest opinion. You know how it's like with Amazon these days. Everything gets really good reviews and you think, oh, it's excellent. But when it comes, it's not as good as it is. This table is not very highly ranked on Amazon. It's like 200 reviews or something like that. Um, but I do think it's one of the underrated tables. It's not too bad. It's under £100. Depending on offers, you might get it for £70, which is what I paid for it, £72 or something. And you get box with all the necessary things in there. If you do buy it, you can use this video as a little helping guide to set it up as well, because there are a few moving parts. Those are the two hinges and everything comes with a nice label sticker on it, like A, B, C, D and three, four, five. So that helps you actually use it and set it up a, a lot quicker than you would normally do. Take your time, look through the instructions. I take everything out, lay it out and then make sure I've got all the parts that are, are, are shown. They give you a little screwdriver with it. You can use a drill, make it a bit quicker, but you basically put the slotted uh, sections together. First up, I made the legs. These are the corner options with number three and number four. And there's a couple of screws that you put together and lock them in place with those locking nuts. So you can see I'm well underway there with the four options there. Three and four makes the corners. And that's where it would be best advisable to start. So make the four corners. And once you've got those, you can actually place them out so you can see how the table will start coming together in the height of it etc it is a coffee table so it's not going to be really tall as you can see here that's the stage there that shows you how you put these together and i found putting it together was okay this is a composite wood material so it's not like a solid wood or anything which is why it's a, a slightly budget option uh, table and it comes with additional options here you can see which again you thread in the screws and these are like the braces that you use to make the table be a bit more robust and this is where it holds the top section in so it's like a little bit of a draw a hidden draw you can call it and it's got a lower section as well so i'll place it down i'll give you a top down view of this setup so you can see how i'm putting it together but when you lay everything out just look at what the parts are and you can see it kind of fall together you've got two long bits and two short bits which make the top draw section which is here and as you put it together, you can see there will be little numbered stickers, as I mentioned earlier. So here you can see the two long bits and then the, the side and the center brace unit. So there will be a draw section here. We'll put a little, uh, the thinnest piece to, makes the base of this. So I wouldn't screw together the whole section because you will need to slide in the drawers. I'll show you that in a second. When I say drawers, I mean the underside of the, the shelf. So this will be the top part of the coffee table, which will then have a, a lid on it, which kind of lifts out. To make it easier, I was using a 
a powered drill just to screw in a bit easier you can do it with your hand if you wanted to as you can see in the bottom section there's like a little lip that runs all the way around so i did uh, close it all up and then discover that wait a minute i needed to slide in the, the base bottom unit so this is a little tip for you and it helped you if you're doing it you can see i took that section off then but i made it all firm i slid that bottom in of the top section and then put the final side the longest side on and screwed that together so again if you're thinking about home uh, setups uh, you ideally you have a separate setup i've done quite a few videos about gaming desks and chairs but i know not everybody has a dedicated room or location to have that everybody's got houses and obviously you want to have uh, certain spaces for different type of work but if you're living in an apartment or you've got one bread studio or something you want to make sure you're making the most of your single room so you can see in this front uh, dining room which would be normally the dining room it's actually got a couple of sofas there and i use it regularly just to kind of uh, have the main entrance and guest room but this coffee table kind of gives us that double dual purpose now because you can use it as a coffee table in the middle of the room. It looks like a nice solid table, good color options available in it. You can get in a wood effect. I've got white here. You can get in different colors. You'll see in the, the, the description, the listing, how and how much it costs and what it looks like in terms of buying it and the color options available. So definitely check that out. You can see now I've put the base on. That was the bottom drawer. I flip it over and the top section that I made slides into there and then the screws hold it into place, which makes it kind of a bit tricky, but you can do it as a one person thing. Uh, you can see here, then you screw that in to hold it into place into the legs. So basically you've got four legs, a top section, and then the bottom, I'm calling it a drawer, but shelf I'd call the bottom shelf. And then here you actually screw in the hinges these can be a bit interesting just put the screws in the corresponding holes and you can see that it is spring loaded there actually has a spring in there which you can attach using like a pliers or something would probably help you here and there's a nice little uh, action on that so it actually pops up nicely when you lift it that that did work very nicely you get these little uh, options here for just stopping the noise so when it hits down it touches these felt pads and then i actually put the top flip it upside down and then screw it in to the the table itself and what that means is you've got that little extra section so if you sit on the sofa this brings the table a lot closer to you and there's just four screws on the inside of here that you can see here in the picture and overall i'm definitely happy with this and i've been using it for long enough to say you know what it's a great addition because sometimes if you're working in even if you've got a work uh, office if you've got like a home office you don't want to work in the same spot all the time you'd like to move things up so you can just come into another room get a fresh perspective depending on if it's a sunny day you get sun some part of the house you might get shade in other parts of the house so this way you can actually move throughout the house and have your laptop portable and easily set up uh, there is space on there to have an extra mouse and keyboard if you wanted to and you can hide it all underneath there but overall i definitely think it's a great option and i like it if you're thinking about buying these you, you should be looking at a few different varieties so i'll put a third link in there with the tabletop options because this is the yahi tech version but there's loads out there you can check out hopefully this has been uh, insightful for you and i'll link you to another video where you can actually check out more of these types of videos where i'm setting up my home office 